Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at converting a Mac hard drive from HFS Plus to APFS. And not just any hard drive, but actually the boot drive itself. So what I have here is I have my Mac and I booted it from a USB drive and it has a Mac system on it. The reason is, is because my main system's already been upgraded, but I wanted to demonstrate this. It works just the same if it's your internal hard drive. So if we click on that and then do Command I, we'll have Get Info come up. And you can see here under format, it says Mac OS extended journal. So that's HFS plus is the uh, formatting there. And we want to change that to APFS. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your system's backed up. Um, something could go wrong and you could lose everything. So don't do this if you don't have a backup and you should have a backup anyway. So what I'm going to do is reboot this into the recovery console. So I'm going to restart this. I'm going to hold down command R and then I'll continue from the recovery console. Okay, so that took a few minutes and now it's having me log in here. So now we're on the Mac OS Utilities screen. We want to click down here on Disk Utility. I'll hit Continue. So this is going to look a little different on your system because I'm booting from a USB drive. So this Mac Portable is the drive I'm using. Yours will typically be the internal hard drive here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is eject Mac Portable. And then while it's still selected, I'm going to go up here to edit and then choose convert to APFS. And it says APSF volumes can't be used with older versions of Mac OS. You can't undo this action. So I'm going to choose convert. And now it's running through the convert process. Okay, it says done here. So now we can see the drive here. It says it's an APFS volume. I'll close out of this. Okay, so now I'll quit this. It'll ask me if I want to choose a startup disk, so I'll do that. I'll choose my portable drive. I'll hit restart. It says you can't change the startup disk to select a disk. Running, blessed, to place, boot files failed. So I'll hit OK. I'll quit out of this. I'll go up to utilities and I'll go down to terminal. Now I'll type disk util space APFS space list. Okay, I'll scroll up here, and you'll see this is the internal drive here. It's a terabyte SSD, and this has a pre-boot um, partition on it. So if we go down here to the drive I'm actually using here, which is a 120 gigabyte SSD, it does not have the pre-boot section on there, so we need to add that. So in order to add that pre-boot, we need to type disk util, space APFS, space add, volume, that's all one word with the V capital, space disk, and then we're looking here at disk four, space APFS, space preboot, space dash roll, space B. We hit enter. Okay, it created that. So now we need to copy this ID here. So I'll just select it. I'll go to edit, copy, then we're going to type mkdir space dash p space forward slash volumes forward slash preboot. Then we'll paste in that ID. Then forward slash system forward slash library forward slash core services. We'll hit enter. Now we'll type cp space dash rp space forward slash volumes. And then the name of our volume, mine is Mac Portable. Yours would probably be like Macintosh hard drive or something forward slash system, forward slash library, forward slash core services, space, forward slash volumes, forward slash preboot. Then we want that ID. So you can just start typing it and hit tab and then system and then library and then core services. We'll hit enter. Then I'll type disk util space APFS space update preboot space disk four slice two. I did that wrong. That's actually supposed to be slice one. So I'll hit enter there and that's working. Now we'll type bless space dash dash folder space forward slash 
volumes, Mac portable, forward slash system, forward slash library, forward slash core services, and then I'll take that slash off the end there, space dash dash boot EFI space dash dash verbose. I'll hit enter, and now I'll reboot. I'll just type reboot here. So I'll select the Mac hard drive now, I'll get info on it, and we see it's now APFS. So when you go to choose your startup disk, if you have that uh, error message there, then you'll need to go through the terminal commands. And I'll put a link in the description to an article I used to figure out what those commands are. But otherwise, it should just boot up if you already have your um, EFI stuff set up. So that's all for this video. Um, it may not be for the faint of heart. And like I said, back up. Um, you know, if worst case scenario, you can reinstall everything. So if you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.